Hi, YouTubers. It's Monkey787, uh, coming to you from the deck. Um, I'm doing a second video today because I have a surprise for you, guys. Hmm? White Owl. Now, if you watch my videos, or if you watch my videos for a while, you know that in the summer, <coughs> excuse me, um, I did a series on black and mild cigars, or cigarellos, whatever you want to call them. So I thought I'd do a series on, uh, White Owl cigars, or blunt cigarellos, whatever. Um, I would call them cigars. They're cigars to me. Um, so this is the first one in the series. And this video can also count as an introduction to the series. Um, it's going to be strawberry. And let me just hold, up, hold it up to the camera. Okay. It has a little White Owl symbol with the White Owl because it's a white owl. Uh, and, um, got my ashtray, and got my lighter. Just check to see my lighter works. Okay, good. Now let's open it up. You always want to be a little bit careful on these because they are, like, cheap, cheap, cheap cigars. So, um, yeah, you never want to break a good cigar. These aren't good cigars, but, you know, I spent it all 29 on them, and I don't want to waste it all 29. So, like all cigars, you just lick a little bit. And these smell extremely, extremely sweet. These are like, oh my god, they're so sweet. I've heard these are really nasty, um, uh, but, um, uh, um, I have to see how they are. So, and just a disclaimer, I am not smoking marijuana. This is a cigar. This is tobacco. This is not cannabis. I am not smoking marijuana. I know a lot of people use these to roll blunts, but I am not smoking marijuana. Hmm? Okay. Let's try it out. Okay, I think I lit. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. The smoke kind of blows in my face. So. I'm not inhaling these because I don't want to... because I don't want to cough. Um. It's okay. But uh, it doesn't really have a very good uh, strawberry-like taste. And he's burning pretty fast. Uh, hmm. Just gonna let the wind blow. Doesn't really taste like strawberry. Well, it kind of does taste like strawberry, but uh, it kind of tastes kind of nasty. He's very harsh. Like a very, very harsh, um, uh, cigar. Uh, doesn't really taste sweet at all. I thought it would taste really sweet because, just, let me check something. Sorry. I always get paranoid that the camera's not running, so, uh, I guess it kind of tastes like strawberry, but, um, it, I got a little bit of strawberry taste on my lips, but overall, I don't know.
It's kind of a little sicky sweet. I don't know, it's, it's different. I mean, it kind of almost tastes like the Cherry Smash from Boswell that I got for Christmas. Except the Cherry Smash from Boswell was tastier. It had a, more, a better taste to it. You know... Um... I mean, everyone knows these, uh, little cigars, whatever you want to call them. I guess reconstituted, really. I guess reconstituted tobacco. I'm sure they have chemicals in them. That's why I'm not inhaling them. Um... It smells kind of nasty while it's burning. Uh, yeah, you kind of get a strawberry-like taste. But I gotta say, the Dutch Master Strawberries, much better. Dutch Master Strawberries are <clears throat> much, much, much better. Much more of a sweet taste to them. These, no. I mean, they're kind of sweet, but, um... Uh, at the same time, they're just kind of nasty. Mm hmm? I'm not sure if I like them. Um, I don't know. If you're really hurting for money, if you're really, really hurting for money, and you want something to smoke, go for this. But it's not nasty, it's not really, really, really nasty, but it just tastes kind of nasty. I mean, this was a dollar, a dollar twenty-nine. I think. Uh, I mean, that's ten cents cheaper than Black and Milds. Uh, probably about. Oh boy, uh, probably about seventy cents cheaper than a, a game vanilla cigar. Um, and probably about a couple dollars cheaper than Backwoods around here. Or so. Yeah. These burn pretty fast, also. And I, I don't think it's just the wind. About how long am I in? Uh, probably, probably been like seven minutes. Minus the time I was, uh, just setting up, so. Hmm. So, getting to rating these. Let's see, um... In terms of a rating, I don't know. It's hard to say, really. Um, let me just smoke it a little bit more. And this will be a long video, so um, if any of you are not into watching my long videos, turn off right now. I won't be won't be offended at all. I'm glad you stayed in as long as you did. This will probably be like a 15 minute video, so... Or even more, so... I don't know. Hmm. The smoke can get also very overwhelming. I think it's maybe due to the chemicals in this. Um... Because the smoke can really irritate your throat when you breathe in the secondhand smoke. So, yeah. But I'm just still doing do the series, okay? The White Owl series. As many as, I, as many as I can find. And I know a lot of you want backwards done. And I will eventually, eventually do that. I promise that for about a year now. I will eventually do backwards cigars. Now that I'm smoking a little bit more, it actually tastes okay. Not like okay like a, like a good handmade cigar, but um, actually it doesn't taste bad. 
I like it because it has a nice tobacco taste to it, actually. But I gotta tell you, it's nothing compared to a good ha handmade cigar. I mean, a good handmade cigar, even one that's like five, six dollars or less, will taste a hell of a lot better than this. So, um, hell of a lot better. So, what else? I don't know. On one hand, I'm saying this cigar is good, but not really tasty. On another hand, I'm saying it's really nasty. I don't know. So, went to the gas station to get this. I have a friend. Um, uh, well, they have a good selection of, of cigars in my gas station, Cigarellos. Um, a lot of the local, uh, drug stores, not drug stores, <laughs> not drug stores, uh, because we do not sell Coke in our town, <laughs> because Coke is illegal. <laughs> um, but, um, a lot of the local, like, uh, gas station, mini marts, uh, they actually have a decent selection of tobacco, surprisingly. Um, uh, Um, and yeah, I just kind of grinned when I made it, when I blew the smoke out. Um, so yeah, there's a CVS in my town, it has a great selection of cigars. Actually, it has a couple handmade cigars. Um, there's a Shell Station in town that has a very good selection of cigars and cigarellos, and cigarettes and smokeless tobacco, like dip and so like that. Uh, there's also, uh, Honey Farms, which is kind of like a mini mart. Um, it has a great selection, a very good selection of, uh, uh, they have chewing tobacco, they have dip, they have cigars, they have cigarellos, they even have pipes, they even have, like, corn cob pipes and Dr. Rainbow pipes, uh, so, yeah. But back to the cigar. Hmm. Surprisingly, it actually burns pretty long. Now, in terms of nicotine, I just wanted to mention that because, uh, I don't know. I just want to mention that I love it. Um, you don't get much nicotine from these unless you inhale them, which I'm not going to because I don't think I should, because it probably does have chemicals in it. Um, I don't get much nicotine from this. Uh, maybe a little bit of a lightheaded feeling, but really not much. Now, I also bought, um, roll your own cigars, similar to roll your own tobacco, um, and they were about, uh, $1.29 also, and, uh, you got, I think you get two, uh, little, you know, cigar rolls, and you can put your own pipe tobacco. However, most people won't use it for tobacco, uh, they'll use it for marijuana, so, but I don't smoke marijuana, so, nope, don't do drugs, so. Well, let's count this as a drug. Because nicotine, nicotine is a drug, so I mean... So I mean, let's count that as a drug. Hmm. So, overall opinion to this, because I am getting to the very end of it. Hmm. Let me just check something quickly. Yep, I'm paranoid. <laughs> um... Overall opinion to this, if you're really hurting for money, you know, if you go to a town, maybe you're staying at a hotel, and you just want something to smoke for 20 minutes or so with a friend, um, then pick up this. If you're really hurting for money, maybe you didn't bring enough money, bring enough money, and this is probably what you want to smoke. It's windy outside. I really hope this is another windy summer because uh, wind and smoking don't go well together. <laughs> so, um, it's actually burning kind of slow now. So, it's a very interesting cigar. As you can see on the end, you don't have to poke with a toothpick or uh, cut it with a cigar cutter. I mean, you could cut it with a cigar cutter or poke it with a toothpick, but uh, I wouldn't.
flavor is really gone by now. Doesn't taste like really anything now. So, um, in terms of when I'll get the next White Owl one, um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe next time I go out with my friend. So, um, nasty. It's getting to the very end, and we all know when the cigars get to the very end, the taste becomes very nasty. Ah, but overall, it's a, a decent smoke. I mean, again, if you're really hurting for, hurting for money, this is what you get. White Owl. The strawberry flavor just tastes really cheap and disgusting. Again, if you're looking for a good strawberry flavored machine made cigar, um, get Dutch Masters Strawberry Berry Cigars. Strawberry Berry. They're a hell of a lot better than this. This, I mean, I'll do the series. Don't think just because I don't like it, I won't do the series. Um, but, uh, I'll do it as, much, as many as I can. And, but, um, this is pretty disgusting, obviously. Or, honestly. <laughs> obviously. Hmm. Hmm. So, what else has been going on? Um, hmm. Um, uh, almost out of pipe tobacco. Good pipe tobacco, that is. You know what's amazing? I was commenting on somebody's video l yesterday, last night. Uh, whose video was it? Oh, come on, I think of it. Um, and I was saying that, um, I have pipe tobacco from last February, and it's still fresh. It's still fresh. Now, it's probably lost a, it's probably lost a lot of its flavor, uh, but, uh, it's still fresh. I mean, can you believe that? So these aren't a half bad smoke. I mean, if you're really hurting for money, get these. White Owls. Um, I have a friend who, uh, actually made a joke about White Owls. He was saying, uh, I was saying to him, you know, so I'm getting more into the handmade cigars, the really good cigars. And he said, uh, so no more White Owls for you. I said, White Owls? Because I haven't heard of these. I mean, I mean, they're pretty well known, but I mean, I hadn't heard of these. And this is just the last butter. Hmm. So, yeah, time to rate these. Sadly, I'm gonna be honest with you. In a lot of my reviews, I try to I try to express as much goodness about the tobacco product as as possible. Like even the Irish Flake, which was nasty. It was nasty. Gave me the most worst nicotine buzz I've ever had. I still gave that I still gave that a five out of ten. Um. I'm not a hater when it comes to tobacco products at all. Yeah. Cigar tobacco. Or cigar whatever. Um but I'm gonna start being more honest because I don't want to mislead you you guys. This cigar, I mean I I'm I'm sad to say this cigar is only gonna get a six out of ten. If it didn't, if it was more expensive, if it was like two or three or four dollars, even a dollar ninety, this cigar would get like a four out of ten, and eh, maybe a five out of ten. But because it's just so ridiculously, ridiculously cheap, sorry, it's gonna get a six out of ten. The tobacco taste is actually pretty de decent, but um, the overall flavor taste—I mean, I thought it was gonna be. When I smelled this cigar, I thought it was gonna be 
you know, tropical strawberry fruity taste, no. It's really a nasty taste in terms of the flavor. The flavoring is really nasty. In terms of tobacco taste, just like un underlying taste of tobacco, it's good. So if I had to rate the... If I had to rate the flavoring taste, the strawberry taste, I'd give it a 2 out of 10. If I had to rate the... What do you call it? Uh, the tobacco taste, I'd give it a... Probably a 7 out of 10. So overall, this gets about a... A 6 out of 10. If you're really hurting for money, this is what you should get. Otherwise, stay away from it. And I mean, I, I like to smoke for, for about 45 minutes to an hour, maybe more. I've probably only been out here for 20 minutes, so I mean, I mean, it's kind of like a short in smoke, so I mean, yeah. And this is just at the very, very end. I'm gonna have to, I mean, one or two more puffs on this, and this is gone. Oh, did I show you, you, guys, my, you guys my new lighter? See? Uh, the gas station also has a good selection of lighters. They have, uh, like, Chinese fake Zippos, which are pretty decent. I mean, $4. Even though they're just Chinese fake lighters, and by no means do I mean that in a racist way. So don't flag this video. Um, um, so, I mean, $4 for a lighter that looks like a Zippo, that's pretty de decent, in my opinion. Yeah, so... Overall, this is a pretty crappy, pretty crappy cigar. Um, oh, and another thing, I'm not going to watch my language as much. You know, my videos about smoking, I'm not going to watch my language as, as much as I used to. I'm not going to go and say things like F and... S H and so like that. Well, maybe S H, but um, or C or anything like that. But you know, we're all adults here. What's the big deal if I say hell or piss or crap or even shit? I mean, what's the big deal? So I mean, I mean, I I made a song called Rudolph the Dick Knows Dick Deer. So what the hell? Hmm. Yeah, but overall, these are pretty crappy. Um, and they burn really, really fast. Um, at least the game vanilla cigars, you do get a, a good 35, 40 minutes, maybe even 45 minutes out of them. These, you probably get like 25. I'll have to see, I'll have to see when I upload the video how much it is. Um, and again, I'm not smoking marijuana, I don't care what anyone says, this is not a blunt, much like a tobacco blunt, but, um, uh, it's not a marijuana blunt, so don't flag this video for your smoking pot dude, this and that, no. Um, I don't smoke pot. I don't have any issues with people smoking pot, but I don't smoke pot. Mm -hmm. So now you can see the tobacco at the end. Um, looks like probably like, I don't know, Fuker probably, Virginia probably. Again, it's shredded tobacco, so... What do you expect for a dollar twenty-nine? If you really like cigars, stick to the good handmade cigars. You can get a good handmade cigar for for like three, four dollars online, even less. So don't go with the cheap, cheap white owls. But if you're hurting for money, buy these. Yuck! Now the tobacco's getting in my mouth. This cigar is pretty much done.
So, that's about it. 6 out of 10. Nasty taste for the most part. But, like I said, even though it's a nasty taste, I will do the entire series of, of White Owl. As long as I can find it. As long as I can find it. And I'll probably be doing more um, cheap gas station cigars in the summer. Because I'll be home from school. I get the, I get the summer off. So, uh, expect a lot of reviews over the summer of maybe, I don't know, Dutch Masters. The Ever Game cigars. I don't know. Well, this, uh, I think I just burned myself. So, um, yeah. Pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. So, one more puff, and then it's done. That's really nasty. Another thing about these cigars is you get tobacco in your mouth. It's not filtered, so if you like filtered things, don't try this. Especially if you're going to try to smoke it down to the very end like I did. I mean, look at that fist butt. It's about the size of a cigarette butt, or less. So, I'm just going to put this out. And I hope I didn't swallow any tobacco because swallowing or eating tobacco is very unhealthy. I'm not saying smoking is healthy, but um, it's even more unhealthy. So um, until next time, see you guys later. Peace out, bye. Six out of ten for the white owl strawberries. See you guys later. Peace out, bye. Hmm.